An insatiable demand for fine wine from China's elite is the subject of an Australian film that's become a hit at festivals around the world. Red Obsession looks at how wealth and the desire for status has led to an economic boom in the ancient wine producing region of Bordeaux in France, with Chinese collectors happy to outbid most others for the best drop. The high demand has generated a domestic wine industry which in terms of volume will soon outstrip Australia's. Hamish Fitzsimmons reports. For many, these wines are considered works of art. It was a chance encounter on a plane when an acquaintance told filmmaker Warwick Ross about the insatiable thirst for fine French wines in China. I guess the, the, the reason that Dave and I became so passionate to tell this story is that although it was, a, it was about wine, it then developed into a story about the, the, the rise of China, particularly the rise of the Chinese middle class. And I think the, the rise of China affects everybody these days, being the, this sort of Asian century, so that's really why. The documentary charts the taste that the Chinese upper and middle classes have developed, particularly for the coveted vintages from the ancient bucolic chateau of the Bordeaux region. <laughs> The demand for Bordeaux's best has meant prices are sky high. People are buying into the romance of the area as much as its fabled produce. When I came here and they told me these are the best pieces of land, I thought, sure, you know, I mean pebbles, but it's true, it's perfection. The documentary also includes a legend of filmmaking on the lure of Bordeaux. It's more than a manufactured or agricultural product, it's something closer to a miracle. But China's thirst for fine wines may ultimately be unquenchable. The interesting fact that we began to find out that, you know, there's 1.4 billion people in China and that although they're only just starting to drink wine now, within about 10 years there's probably not going to be enough wine um, produced on the planet to, uh, to satisfy the China market. The solution may be homegrown. Thousands of acres of vines are being planted across China. Red Obsession also looks at the exploding Chinese wine industry, growing at an unprecedented scale with mixed results and some surprises. They've now also won a very top uh, wine award, the Decanter Wine Award, of a couple of years ago for the best Bordeaux, what they call the Bordeaux blend. So that shocked everybody. In fact, there were rumours immediately that started circulating that this wine couldn't possibly be a Chinese wine, that it must have been uh, a Bordeaux that had been smuggled into China, rebadged, rebottled, and then brought back to Europe as a, as a genuine Chinese wine. And the Chinese wine industry will soon be bigger than Australia's in terms of volume. This industry is about to overtake Australia in size which most people aren't aware of. And China has the potential within itself of having a huge domestic wine industry, and it's working towards that furiously. Jeremy Oliver is an Australian wine writer and consultant who's spending more time in China as the local wine drinker's quest for knowledge grows. And his popular wine guide is now being published in Mandarin. The excitement there is, it's tangible, it's also very real. Um, the thing that strikes me most about it is that the passion is genuine. A lot of Western people go, oh yeah, well, will they move on to the next fad after wine? And I'm going, no, no, I think these guys are serious. There's enough deeply, deeply committed and intelligent people who are absolutely as serious as anyone I've ever met in the West. He says the world's newest and biggest market is providing a lifeline for some Australian wine producers who've been hit hard by the high dollar and increasing competition. China is the only area where we're seeing growth in the areas of high quality value added bottled wine where wine companies can make profit. For Australian wine producers, like the Chinese, red may be a very lucky colour. Hamish Fitzsimmons, Late Line. Now let's take a look at the weather.